Okay, we got a quick little video here. Just wanted to show how I test the IBT2s. Uh, these guys here, are the otherwise known as the BTS 7960s. This is how I test them for uh, load to, to see if they can, first of all, handle 24 volts under actual load and then see if they can lift weight and see how long they can hold it. And this will basically tell me which one of my IB2s are, like which two were the best or which ones are good and which ones are bad. So uh, we have one Arduino set up there and that's connected to my laptop. Just run an SMC3 so I can see the position of the arm. So have the uh, Arduino there, have the IBT2 right there and that those get changed out i'm i'm testing a bunch of them i've got three more to test uh plus finishing off the testing on this one i have a 24 volt 25 amp 600 watt power supply there and then this is the breadboard for the positive and negatives for the potentiometer the ibt2 uh, to run to the the arduino and then I uh, have a 24 volt wheelchair motor uh, clamped into my vise here. And then on the, uh, and then the potentiometer is there with the GT2 uh, belt and pulleys. And then on the wheel hub, I have uh, like the total length of this is like uh, seven and three quarters, eight inches, something like that. Um, box section and then i've drilled a hole in it uh the hole from the hole to the center of the shaft there is about seven inches more or less so i just have a connecting rod hanging off of there and then um i have a bucket filled with 40 pounds of sand um little sandbags from the weight vest my weight vest it's over there so pulled those out, put them in a bucket, and then um, just hanging this off of here with a metal plate. And um, then we just come over here and turn this guy on. And then it'll raise the arm. Usually it um, will raise it to about 90 degrees there. So I just let it sit there and hang um i also have active cooling on the um ibt2 this 24 volt uh, fan uh, moving pretty decent amount of air so we've got that uh, cooling the ibt2 as it holds and so i basically just uh we'll just sit here and time this uh, i've got a stopwatch up there and we'll usually be timing this, but I, once I power that on and the arm lifts up, I've got to start the timer immediately. So I'll just time it and see how long it holds the weight until failure. So you can see it's still still holding the weight up. Some of the IBT2s don't lift the arm all the way to 90 degrees. So you got to give them a, a little bit of help uh, as I as I showed you there. Uh, let's see this guy He's getting pretty warm um, It's probably coming up to about a minute usually these things will go for about a minute So this one's pretty good. It does worry me that some of the IBT 2s won't lift the weight all the way uh, They won't lift the weight all the way up um, to 90 degrees but You got to give them a bit of help, so I'm not sure if I parallel them, if it'll help, um, I'm basically going to be doing um, parallels next and seeing how long they will hold with known working good configurations. But essentially, I just come here and then have um, have the the seconds that um, they can hold for the 40 pounds at seven inch lever arm on this motor and this is basically how i test and confirm and make sure that the ibt2s are good on 24 volts under load the last video i had was um of me showing just how to test the ibt2s on 12 volt just to make sure that they 
can uh, operate in both directions, this would be the next step of testing to make sure that they actually work on the voltage that you want to run them at with some sort of load. It doesn't necessarily have to be 40 pounds on a 7-inch lever arm, but whatever whatever sort of load you're looking at um, at it running. So um, this thing still hasn't failed yet. Still getting warm. Ooh yeah yeah, it's uh, it's a pretty spicy heat sink right there. I think um, I think I'm just gonna drop it right now since it's getting real hot and uh, it's held for a very long time. We're just gonna go ahead and stop that. There we go. Okay, yeah. All right, so that's the uh, that's a video of basically how I test the IBT2s under load on 24 volts. Talk to you guys later.